Hey everybody, it's me, Rumi, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to End of the Poserverse. I got two boxes that I think were both deal or no deal mystery pickups uh, from Rob's Domain TV on Whatnot. So to see what I got, and if they're keepers, you'll check it out after this. All right, so uh, one of the reasons you can uh, see the last video that I picked stuff up uh, from Rob's Demand that I enjoyed, uh, right, taking a shot at his, uh, I think they were mystery boxes, or was it a deal or no deal there too? I don't remember. Summer's almost done. I gotta slowly get ready for teacher mode, so my brain uh, is not 100% right. Uh, but I think both of these boxes were from playing uh, deal or no deal on his uh, one of his nightly streams so and then I bought him a cup of coffee one night so that means I got some stickers so I'll show those off in a bit and then I'll show you the pops uh, on the from the boxes over here on the fancy cam but before I do that if you haven't hit that like or subscribe button, uh, make sure you do so. We are getting closer and closer by the day uh, to that 1,500 subscribers and would love to give some more stuff away uh, when we hit 1,500. So, without further ado, let's go on over to the fancy game. Okay, now I remember what the second box is. It was a different game, uh, so I'll talk about that one in a second. So, uh, we were playing Deal or No Deal. Uh, I can't remember... Uh, where I was or how well or how bad I was playing. Uh, but I remember what I got ended up being offered at the end, uh, a black light Magneto. Hey, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Ainsley came in to give me a message, so she wanted to say hi real fast. You wanna stay here while I open these up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if you see, I've already got a black light Magneto up here. Uh, the running gag when I was selling frequently on whatnot was since you could see that Magneto in the background, uh, the question was always how much for that Magneto in the background uh, and I would not put that one up for sale or give it away because uh, it was gifted to me by Fox Crown. Uh, so the other box, uh, we were playing Clueless, uh, which was a game that he put together that was a trivia game. and. Uh, on this one, I think I ended up doing pretty okay. Uh, Can you sit on your lap, please? So, we'll see how I did. Nope, we don't have room because that box right there. Uh, but we ended up winning three pops from uh, a game of uh, Clueless. So, we've got some of the Cars pops that I bought for my kids when they were younger. Uh, but now we've got them again in the box. So, who's that, Ainsley? I, I forgot his name. He's He runs the paint shop. Ramon. His name's Ramon. Uh, we've got another Cars Pop that this one, I can't remember if we ever got it for Oh, that's the police one. It's the judge. You remember the judge's name? No. Doc Hudson. Oh. And then our... Third pop. That, um, uh, car? Nope, this is a Batman pop. And Ooh, can is I this guess Murder it? Machine Batman? I want to see if it's. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Murder. Oh, it's Merciless Batman. Oh. The, in he the looks blue. looks like a gargoyle. He does look kind of like a gargoyle. So, the Merciless Batman in the blue chrome. So, uh, what was good about playing these games with some choice elements to it is right I could pick out things that I liked and wanted in the collection which I like uh, a little bit better than playing you know your average game or pulling from your average mystery box uh, because you do well right then you can get something that you may you know not want and have to sit on until you have an opportunity to sell it uh, or in instances like this right I'm gonna keep uh, probably all four of them, if not the one that might go is the Merciless Batman, only because I've been yo-yoing on what I've been wanting to do with my Batman collection. Hey right, Ainsley, what do you think of those four pops? 
that was pretty those were pretty cool i kind of liked the the batman one. Oh, you like the batman one is that your favorite yeah yeah well i like the the cars ones but i think that magneto might have a special place in my heart that that might be the next pop that i try and collect a lot of uh just like my growing collection of ruth bader ginsburg pops but uh let me know what you think about all of these in the comments down below as always y'all thanks for stopping by and have a good one can i see one of your ruth bader ginsburg pops